What's going on everybody, Mouser here with a quick drifting tutorial and guide. When I'm in public lobbies, people will frequently ask me how I'm as good as I am and if I can teach them to get better. I've said a few times in videos and on my Twitch channel that the best lessons are learned through trial and error and slowly dialing yourself into a consistent line that you're comfortable with. But Solitaire is quite the different beast of a drifting game, with its secret tricks and techniques. So here are some things that pros do that noobs don't. First, we'll start with something that most intermediate players should know, but beginners probably don't. On the bottom left hand of your screen, there's a controls tab where you can bind and swap keys at the click of a button. The first thing you should do is swap that e-brake off of that pesky X key to something more suitable like upward arrow or the left shift key for some suggestions. You can also bind any other key that feels uncomfortable to almost any key with a few exceptions, like the escape key, windows key, and spacebar to name a few. Just make sure that you unbind all of the keys that you'll be making use of to rebind. Next, we'll be discussing the hidden technique that all pros abuse. When you press the brakes on your car, normally it tries to stop your front tires from completely locking by gently tapping the front brakes repeatedly, as you can see on the bottom right hand of your screen. But by pressing Y to disable ABS, your brakes become a lot touchier and prone to throw you for a loop, but with enough practice, they'll be more than predictable and useful. The added control and agility gained by turning ABS off allows for many things, one of which I explained in further detail in my past video. By getting your car to a lot of angle, throwing the car around, and holding the brakes for a specific amount of time, doing a 360 entry will be much easier than before. But by far, the biggest advantage disabling ABS will give you is this. Tapping your brakes with ABS off while still on the gas can do a lot to steady and control your car when you regularly couldn't. This is called left foot braking. A great example of this is my past video, the Yokohama Challenge, where I was constantly using a combination of throttle control and left foot braking to get me through each tight corner. Another hidden feature no other drift game has is the ability to lower and raise your car on the fly. You do this by pressing 1 to lower your vehicle and 2 to raise it back up again. Not only does this slightly change the look of your car, it can significantly affect the feel and consistency of your ride. Lowering your car makes it much more responsive and twitchy, while keeping it raised makes it a bit flowier and floatier. This means we have two versions of the same car with slightly different stats, so if you find yourself struggling with a map or section of a track, lowering or raising your car might be just the simple solution to your problem. Last but not least is a general tip about a mechanic I've seen people struggle with. Unlike games such as Redline and Paradise that have relatively instant throttle response, Solitary's throttle response time is delayed by around a half second to a full second, making some techniques that you use in other games not as viable. This means learning to use left foot brake instead of e-brake like you would in other games to slow yourself down and keep angle is quite important. Thanks to everybody who watched this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed and possibly learned something new about drifting in solitary. If you've liked this tutorial style content, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to help me make my push to 1000 subscribers. If you want to stay up to date on my next stream, my next video idea, or even just post some memes, join my discord. Links to everything will be in the description down below. Have a good day everybody, mousey out. Deuces. Whoa, what the f Ah! The fuck was that?